<laughs> Hi crew, welcome to another episode of the hair tutorial. So today is probably not my first hair video that I filmed, but this is probably going to be the first one that I upload. Uh, a few weeks ago, I did do my hair. If you're new here, my name is Rhonda. I'm a flight attendant. I talk about travel on this channel. I also own a makeup brand called Vi Cosmetics. I'm currently wearing one of our lipsticks. It's called the Flight Attendant Landing Lips, duh. Then we talk about beauty, self-confidence, makeup, travel, and if you are interested in becoming a flight attendant, I also talk about how to become a flight attendant, some tips and tricks, and I have conducted interviews with flight attendants before, and I have that on my channel. So if you would like to be a part of the crew, why not go ahead and join now by subscribing, commenting, liking the video if you have any questions about the hair we're about to get into today. Go ahead and leave a comment below. If I can help you in any way, I will be happy to do so in the comments. Okay, so let's get started to why we're here. So today, I have decided to make this video because I've always been interested in hair, but I've just never had the courage to upload my natural hair to the internet because you know, anything on the internet stays forever. So I currently feel naked. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, love, love, love my natural hair. It's just hard for me to maintain it in this natural state and with my job going to work being stuck in a cabin, it would just be a hot mess trying to maintain my hair. I do braids and I do all of my own hair. Sometimes I wear wigs. I am really, really afraid of the wigs because I have this silly fear that someone's gonna yank my wig cap all. <laughs> or someone's gonna mistakenly like just pulled my hair. Like this one day I was on the aircraft and I had a baby. I was helping the mom because the baby was crying so I held the baby and this baby started pulling on my hair. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> I always have this fear that someone's gonna pull my wig and this baby's like just yanking my hair from left to right and thought it was fun and started laughing. So I'm like, oh damn, this is a real fear that I have. How to have my wig on, this baby's pulling on my hair in the middle of the airplane, uh, imagine what would have happened. But uh, nonetheless, I had my braids on. So I do wear wigs from time to time, but I just always have this fear. So I prefer weave which is sew-ins or braids and crocheting, like protective styles, that's what I usually do. And I mostly come up with almost all of my own hairstyles that I do. I, it might be something that's out there, but I would just tweak it a little bit and just make it fit my hair. So then my boyfriend was like, why don't you start doing hair videos? Since you love hair, why don't you add hair to your channel? So I did do a hair video back then, but I still haven't uploaded it. I'm hoping that I'm able to upload this video because I got a lot of compliments on the hair that I did previously. I will insert the picture of the hair in here and I wanna be able to share that with you guys. I came up with this hairstyle because I was doing a lot of crocheted hairstyles and I just didn't like to pull it up because when I did the crochet I didn't want to leave hair out because I'm growing my natural hair and I kind of want my edges to grow with my hair. I would braid everything back and then when I crochet it and put it up it just looked like it was crocheted. You can see where it started. So I wanted to be able to put my hair up in a ponytail but you know like have that braids feeling but also have it look like you know my curls are flowing and stuff like that. So in the hairstyle that I did, I had like a lot of girls who walk on a plane and they'll ask me like, how'd you do your hair? Like black girls, how'd you do your hair? Where'd you get your hair? So I was like, maybe I should just make a video and help people out because most people like the way it looked. And then I even have a, <laughs> I even had a white girl ask me, um, how did you achieve your curls? Because mine's are so frizzy. And I was like, well, the beauty supply store. And she thought I was being serious. And I was like, no, chill, this is not real. I mean, it is my hair because I paid for it. Excuse you. But she just was really wanting to know how I kept the curls up. Unfortunately, today I'm not going to be using the hair that I'm talking about because I like to switch things up. I got a different brand of hair. This is called the Brazilian Gogo Curls. 
and it is in the 20 inches which i'm going to be splitting up here here to get it down to the length that i want um but i got the 20 inches and the color number two because that's basically i used to be like a jet black but i've been doing a lot of stuff to my hair so it's faded into a number two so i usually try to get something that's closer to my hair type so that it makes it look natural you know but this is the hair i'm going to be using it's 2x right there it's brazilian gogo -Go curls so the hair that i used prior to this which i'll insert a picture in the video of was a different type of hair it was color too as well but it just was a different type of hair and i wanted a change it was good for because i got a lot of compliments hopefully this hair lives up to what that hair was able to achieve um but i will insert it and you guys can figure out what type of curl pattern you love okay so enough of me talking let's go ahead and get started i might still continue to talk just because it's in my nature <laughs> stop doing this my mother told me to stop doing this because it wrinkles your forehead really quickly so <laughs> I can't stop moisturizing my scalp here and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to achieve the look and I will be back or I can keep you guys on and tell you some fun airplane stories if you like leave a comment down below because I don't want to do it and you don't like it <laughs> And then next time when I do my hair, I'll tell you some fun stories. Or I could just say it, and if you don't like it, you can click off. Let's get started. I got the 20 inch, and I don't like long hair. I don't like stuff like all the way down my neck. You see why I keep chopping my hair off? But my boyfriend said no more chopping, so I can no longer chop my hair off, but I could chop the one I bought off. So he does not regulate that. <laughs> don't regulate my hair either but I just think it's a great thing to actually stop chopping off my hair <laughs> so it was easy to agree on that so you know how when you're going to do an individual braid you part it like this so with this one that I decided to do I parted it like I was gonna do a down cornrow braid but I just made it longer so kind of like this if that makes any sense to you Got to part it well because it is in the front and the back. I don't really care. So like that. This is what the hair looks like out of the pack. Like this. It was very cheap, so I doubt it's gonna last. Try to get something better than what I have. <laughs> this is the 20 inch length. And I'm going to chop it in the middle here. When you chop the middle, you get a piece like this. So depending on how thick you want your hair, because I like it to look natural, I usually get three pieces from like a thicker piece like this. Sometimes, you know, the hair, they're all not the same. You might end up with like a piece that is not as thick. You might end up with like a piece like this, then you can probably only get a braid and a half out of this hair. Depending on the thickness of the piece you cut, you can model uh, how many pieces you need after that. To get started, I usually will go, I mean, the hair was together and I just split it like that. And I kind of like to leave like one long piece and like a shorter piece here, just to not have it like, you know how when you cut the hair, it's like the frizzy piece right there that's very thick. So you have to thin that out to make it look natural. You have to thin this piece out. But I don't wanna like stretch it because if I do stretch it, then it's gonna make this part tangle. So I wanna keep this pattern for as long as I can so I'm not going to stretch it. However, when I open it up, I am going to not even it out. So this one's gonna be up here. This short piece is going to be up here and this longer piece is going to be down here so that way it's not puffy. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. So you braid this like you will braid a cornrow. You know how to braid cornrows? If you don't know how to do cornrows, go learn. Click around somewhere on YouTube. I'm sure somebody there knows how to do cornrows and they'll teach you how to do cornrows. But I don't have time to do it right now. Just gonna show you how to achieve this hair look 
So you literally, you braid it like you're braiding cornrows. When you're done with the piece that you cut out, then you do like this. And the reason for parting it longer than the natural individual braids is because I don't want it to fall out. And then when you do that, you will have this natural hair here. You hold that. And another natural hair piece on the shorter length, you hold that and you come and find the last natural hair piece because they're split into three. So in other to keep the natural hair pieces together, you want to attach it to the shorter, to the two shorter lengths. So the longer length is the one that's not going to be braided and it's going to be left out to give you that curls. But the ones that are going to be braided, you want to attach all of the natural hair pieces to that. So, well, I usually use my mouth. <gasps> so what I'm doing now, I'm just twisting it like a Senegalese twist. So I'm just twisting that part of the hair, the natural hair, with the rest of that hair. I'm just twisting it, twisting, twisting, twisting. And if you get like a super soft hair, this hair is a little bit on the rough side. It does feel soft when you touch it, but when you braid, it can stand on its own. So you just have to finish it up to at the very end so it doesn't come loose. Okay, if you're wondering where I got my nice beautiful shirts from i got this shirt from the liberian olympics official designer uh, because originally i am from west africa liberia now a u.s citizen so i am a liberian american <laughs> but uh i wanted to support my home country so i purchased the t-shirt from the website i don't know if they have this particular one for sale but i know they have a lot of unique items that they have for sale there if you would like to support them i'll link the website down below you can check it out not sponsored again um, however i will strongly suggest that you pick your size you pick your exact size obviously I missed uh, big time and but this was one of the presents they gave me and then they gave me like a pen of the Liberian flag with the company's logo in it and I also got another shirt that I purchased so I got the two shirts I purchased plus this bonus one which was the present and I loved the one I got for me because it was my size and it fit nicely the texture was nice it's a little bit on the pricey side but they're beautiful items now back to the hair when you see this don't worry about it it is going to stay uh, and if you are a little bit worried about it just tie it tie tie a knot to the bottom uh, obviously do not tie a knot to where your hair stays make it longer if you have a longer hair make the twist long and tie it at the very bottom so that you are not um, constantly paranoid about it coming loose now it might look a little like hey, what's going on how's it gonna look it is gonna come together I promise you and I like to do the front of my hair usually. I like to start in the front because when I get tired, <laughs> it's whatever in the back. So I usually try to do my hair when I have all the energy in the front. You might want to braid a little down before you start twisting too. All right, so then you grab. Make sure you grab your natural hair. Don't leave it out, especially if you're growing your hair. I don't want it to be out and dry. If you see me looking up, I have a mirror on the back of my ring light, so that's where I'm looking. Put this, I put it in between these two fingers and these two fingers, and then I go like this, these two, so see two fingers here, two fingers here, and two fingers here, and then I twist and go like this. If you didn't get it, try to rewind it until you do, but if you know how to braid, 
corn rolls and you know how to braid individual braids, this will be easy for you. And if you're a beginner and you really want to achieve a better braiding look, because I am thinking that this is not going to be braided properly because of these. So if you want to achieve like a nicer, flatter braiding cornrow look, I will not particularly recommend doing your nails and then doing your hair. <laughs> Probably do your hair before you go do your nails because I am on a struggle bus right now. My advice doing this hair would be get the hair color, the extension that matches your hair the closest because you do not want to be looking I don't want to say tacky, but you know. And make sure the part that you're selecting to do your twist is small. It's a small portion. Do not make it bigger. Because if you make it bigger, it's gonna show. It's gonna show under the curls. So you don't want it to be very visible. Even though it's there, you want it to be invisible. As you go up higher, increase the portions of hair you braid. So instead of braiding this, you should go ahead and at least get a bigger curl. Try to keep this part smaller if you can, because that's the part you're gonna be braiding with. So try to measure it. So maybe this is too big. You take up a little bit more, and then open up. And all the way up just like that one tail longer the other tail is shorter maybe maybe you can even do this like that and then like I said under here this that this and that and then start braiding Do not pull on your edges, please. Do not pull on your edges. You might see my edges might be looking like it's being pulled, but it is not being pulled. I don't want you to lose your edges because you're trying to achieve a hairstyle. It's better to have your own hair than to lose your hair trying to attach your hair. And then you're still left with a thicker piece, but I will tell you what to do with that. Now what I'm doing is I'm just twisting. But as I twist, I'm gonna pull hair out and leave it out like they do tree braids. As I'm pulling that hair out, I'm making sure I'm not pulling my natural hair out. I'm keeping my natural hair in so it stays braided. I was tying this tighter because it's a different hair type. So I was going tighter and you see what it ended up leaving? It ended up leaving like those really tight twist. So what you do is you do it tighter at the beginning and as you get to the end, just kind of do it loose. Do a very loose twist so that you don't end up with a very like tight twist that you can see through the hair. As you see here, you can see it through the hair. So do a very loose twist and that would end up curling. You see how it curls back up? You see how you still maintain the curls? You see how straight this one is? It doesn't blend in well. So I am going to go through and undo. So then it's able to easily blend in like that. It's able to easily blend in to what I did here where it's super tight. You really might not have any issues with this because it's shorter, but for those longer ones that you have to do, I would say do them softer. So, that's how far we've gotten with the hair. And this is it. 
I'm almost at the top here. how far we are. You see the difference between this one and this one? See? see how this all looks like it's all curls and no braids in it? You see how you can see the braid popping in that one? Okay, so this is how you achieve the look. Now I'm gonna undo that braid and try to fix it. All right, so what we do here, I'm gonna remove some of this hair try to narrow it down, make it thinner. Remove some hair here too. Tighter here and then softer at the bottom. And then you see how it curls back up. See so how it looks like it's all curly here and not braided. I hope that helps. All right, so I'm gonna continue braiding and I'll come back to you with the finished look. Hey guys, so this is the progress. I just folded this up and I am still braiding the back. It is quite the struggle and it's been hours and I'm still working on it, but I'll let you guys know. One thing I didn't do was check the time I started braiding. Uh, I will go back and try to figure out if I can remember the time, but I know it was, um, yeah, I don't know the time. <laughs> but I will go back and see, you know, like maybe when I texted my boyfriend, maybe what time it was. Uh, as you can see, I have been like rubbing this one eye, so I'm losing like my makeup, but by the time I'm done, I will take a shower and then I'll show you guys the full look, okay? Hi crew, we are back. So it might have taken me seven or eight hours, I would say, to get this hair done. Um, so I'll show you, I braided every single hair here, and I'll show you the back of how I did it. I increased the hair pieces I was doing uh, in the back. So where you see here is a smaller piece and the back is gonna be like a much bigger piece because I wanted the back to be much fuller. Why I love to have my hair down, I also enjoy putting it up in a ponytail because I'm a flight attendant. My company never used to allow us to put our hair down, but now they've relaxed the rules, at least around this length. Yes, it's just right but I still enjoy putting my hair up in the ponytail just because, I don't know, I like to show my big forehead. <laughs> You enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you are able to achieve this look and if you are please follow me on Instagram and send me a DM let me see your pictures I will link my Instagram down below and you guys can check it out I love this hairstyle because you can give yourself a nice middle part or you can do to the side or you can just put it all up in a ponytail which is my favorite all right so i'm gonna go ahead and put it in a ponytail right now i didn't put any type of oil on it or didn't even chop it yet because i don't want to chop it off just yet once you make that big chop you cannot undo that <laughs> um so i will do a little bit of a trim here shortly so that you guys can see but that's the most I'm going to do. And once I've worn it in a certain way for a long time, then maybe I will think about um, giving it a chop. But for now, I'm gonna keep it longer. And it doesn't hurt, guys. Um, when you do your own hair, when I first started learning how to do my hair, I will really pull my scalp and it doesn't do anyone an injustice so it's fine like if you see it slipping out to rebraid it but if you are just going to yank your own edges that 
doesn't serve anyone including yourself so try not to do that whenever you do like a ponytail try to pull it out a little bit so that like you're not pulling on your edges see try not to pull on your edges I'm not going to chop everything out to a point where it's all even just because the ponytail style is so different from like when you have your hair down so there are other parts that you might think that needs to be like shorter but then when you put it down then you have like half of it is short and half of the sides longer all right so i don't need to do much you can chop it up if you want but for now i'm going to enjoy this look when i go to work this is how i do it usually so maybe i might have like a little one running down here it won't be this long usually it's like here i might cut it right here i have like a little clip or hairpin and i just pin it right there like that Hey guys, so this is what the finished look looks like for the, I mean, I could do this a little better, <laughs> but uh, I don't have my, my pen to like pin it back here like that, but pretty much you get the point. This is what it's gonna look like. When I'm done, I mostly wear my hair like this when I go to work and so, I'm gonna go finish eating my African food. <laughs> but I had to pause to finish this video, okay? The things I do for you. Now I can finish eating my food. Once again, thank you so much guys for joining me and I hope you like, comment, and subscribe if you love this video for more content. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me and I will leave my Instagram down in the DMs. If you tried this look, let me know what it looks like, how it ends up, and what what decision you went with did you decide to cut it short did you keep it long I want to see like two three pictures pop 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 of how you rocked your look okay I mostly rock mines like this and sometimes I would just do it like that you know so this was fun let's do this again okay join a crew do not be a stranger okay join a crew let's achieve more looks together I am actually going to post this video I'm going to challenge myself to actually post this video because I think it's going to help a lot of girls out there who want to achieve the look. <laughs> if this video helped you in any way at all, I hope to see you in the next one.